Maisa tonight, we're going to discuss an interesting Chazal. There is a Chazal that says, Osid Chazer Nitoyev. In the future, the Chazer will become Tahar. Now, there is no place, we, we don't have anywhere in Chazal, we cannot find this. We cannot find this Chazal. So but it's, how do you know that it exists? Because it's quoted, many many Sfarim are quoting this in the name of Chazal. But you don't have it in Chazal? In our Sfarim we don't have it. Maybe there, was, there must have been a Medrash or different things that we don't have, uh-huh. that they had, that's not available, that, that's lost. Because so many different Sfarim are quoting this. There is over here, this, the Rebbe over here makes a list, thank you. The Rebbe makes a list over here of Sfarim that quote this Maimur Chazal, and then we're going to talk about it a little. He says, Maimur Chazal Baloshen Zeh, on the bottom of the page, okay. yeah. Maimur Chazal Baloshen Zeh, who but this Loshen also has the Torah brought in these Sfarim. B'Shelah, Ashkai Yisar, Medesh Talpiyas, Shem Ben Uchayah, Sefer Hakona, L'Kotit Torah, Kilos Yaakiv, Sefer Abris, Derech Hamuna, B'Shem Medesh Tanchuma. The Derech Hamuna brings in the name of the Medrash Tanchuma. We don't have this in our Medrash Tanchuma. So is this Medrash Tanchuma disappear? Or? No, we have it, but maybe maybe there's a different version to it. You know, things used to be mm-hmm. with... Now, then the Rebbe quotes in the next paragraph. Mm-hmm. There is a... In another Lashen, Shem Aleichem, mm-hmm. there's another Lashen... The Lashen, Asha'asir HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lachzir Yisrael, a little bit different. Mm-hmm. This language, or Lanu, the Yisrael or Lanu, where you find this, you can find this in the Bechaye on Shmini. And there it says the word Lanu to us. I have, I have more than this. Lachziro is Chazir in the middle. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> The tshuvas had advaz, chilek beis, mogin double advaz, or yirakis reishem hamuna litva rikanti tshuvas meshiche b'shem elish rabba. The barbanel brings it in the name of the breishes rabba, which is the, the medrash. We don't have it. The Torah is meishet tachsam soifer. So all these places bring it down. Some bring it this language. Some bring it this way. That in the future the chazer is going to become tar. <laughs> But we don't have it in our Chazals, but all these Svarim are all quoting it. We have tens of Svarim, all quoting that oh, there's such a we don't a have Chazal. the original. We don't right? have the original. Oh, the, the, the. It's not the only such type of Maimar Chazal. There is a few other ones that we don't know the source today. We don't have the source in our Chazals. I think... If they had it in their days, they must have had... How, many, how long ago was this that they had it? That... Hard to know. We don't really know. It's an interesting thing. I think oh. it's logic because Chazir is the most name that we're not allowed to read. So because every religious zoo or chazi, oh, you know, is go, go away from it. So what they're saying here, it means Hashem, this chazi that everybody was mouse, everybody was against it, everybody does want to get close to it, you can eat it and enjoy it. Yeah. So Lamaisa, what does it mean? What is the meaning of this? What, what does it mean that the chazi is going to come back? He said in the last line, Kame Pirushim and Maimar Azal Elu. The many, piru, many Pirushim, a few of the Pirushim in this Maimar Azal are gathered together, Nikpitz of Estei Chemed, and this Seif Estei Chemed, these are these notes. The ending of the, the Rebbe's note, he writes, on the second page, Va'achri Shekol Hanal, Kol Han Niskarmel, Shok of the Toy Maimar Azal. After all of these tens of Svarim have all discussed this Maimar Chazal, <coughs> the Rebbe said it's a very big wonder. Tamua Dasi Yifei Teiru Yikraba. One of the Mefarshim on the on, on the Medrash says, "Huva be Metro the Zvasha Tevis be Sefer something the Baal Hamachaber Sefer Seder Hadoyes." Shemay Merzel Lehoyu Blinivra. He held. You can't find this Chazal. He said it's above my Sefer Lehoya Blinivra. Wow. But the Rebbe says this can't be because look, if, if you see twenty Svarim all saying there's a Maim Chazal. This must be such a Maimar Chazal, just we don't have it, it's not in our prints today. 
So what's he talking about when he's talking about his brother? That's safer. That's safer. How? That because we can, we don't find it anywhere. He, oh. His conclusion was that there was there isn't. Oh, Rebbe's oh, saying after I see all these things, I'm saying I'm not going to draw that conclusion. Oh, my okay. conclusion is going to be that for some reason we don't have as a, <coughs> in our prints <coughs> in our medrashim. <coughs> but there must have been a medrash those days that had this this thing. I want to go through tonight a few interesting pshatim in this Maimar Chazal, because this, this is a fascinating Maimar Chazal. What does it mean that the Chaz is going to become kosher? We know that, you know, you ha- we have to keep Torah and Mitzvahs, even Allah Tid Lavo, even Mashiach comes. I mean, what does it mean now suddenly it's okay to have Chazar? So we have here a tshuva to the Radvaz, where one of the big, Rabbeinu David ben Zimmer, one of the big Sephardish Shagoinim, he lived in the times of the Beit Beis Yosef. And he writes over here in the left What's column. What's your name? Radvaz? Rabinu David ben Zimra. Radvaz. Rabinu David? Oh, right down here. That's the Rosh Tevis mm-hmm. of Radvaz. Harav Rabinu David ben Zimra. That's his father. David ben Shlomo. Radvaz. Rabinu David ben Zimra. Ben Zimra. <coughs> now, the and the left column, the left column, the tshuva, the first paragraph, tshuva tov tov chav ches. It says shailas, shalta, shalta we make. You asked me, the person mm-hmm. who wrote to the advaz, you asked me, al mash and nisim medrashim, this that it's found in medrashim, shakol ha meyadim betelim, that all yam and toyim are going to be nullified when Mashiach will come, be yimei ham purim lay betelim. But the day the the Yom Tov Purim will not be bottled. Shenemer v'yimei ha Purim ha'elu lo yavru. The Megillah says these days the Purim will stay here forever. The Kasha Tuva, you had a very good Kasha. V'aksiv leisoyis v'aladar v'leisigemenu. Says Kulin the Torah, you're not allowed to add anything to the Torah. You're not allowed to subtract. How can you suddenly subtract Mayadim, all the Mayadim? How could this Medrash say that all the Mayadim are going to be bottled besides for Purim? Who can come and say that even one letter of the Torah is nullified? You can't come and say it. Tshuva. This is the answer of the... It's not a long tshuva. Just, you know, 20 lines. It's a tshuva of the Advas. And the ending of the tshuva, he deals with our Maimar Chazal of the Chazal. In the beginning, he talks about Mayadim, the Yom Torah. He says, first he says, Kvarnishal Zar Ashbazal, the... Rashba, Rabbi Nishleim ben Aderes, one of the early Rishonim, was already asked this question. Also a Sephardic, Aderes yeah. Sephardic. Yeah. yeah, he was fine again. V'hoi seba kushya. And he added to the question. Sha'am Rasham, it says in that Medrash, that Rabbi Oimer, af yim ek yipurim in bottle oil. Not only Purim won't be bottle, but if Yom Kippur also won't be bottle. Shenemer, because it says on the Pasuk, V'hoi se zois lochem lochukas oil. Since we find the Kapazal clearly said this is a chukat mm-hmm. olam, it's for an everlasting Ever. mitzvah. Uh, so you can't say Purim is going to be bottled. Just like Purim is not going to be bottled, Yom Kippur won't be bottled. The Hikshaz al Rashba asked, Ki gama Pesach nemba chukas oyam de chugu. How can we, how can the, why is only Yom Kippur and Purim? Pesach it also says it's going to be forever. But I am the You will look at his chuvah, the Tavim Kavanasi Zal, you will know what he meant, what his pshat is. But now I'm going to say, he's going to say his pshat, the, the, the advas. My small mind holds, They're talking on the times of Mashiach. There'll be so much good, so much happiness, so much rest and pleasure. And she you call Hayam Meshav and Eitzam and the other. It will be as all the days are equal. It will be as if the Mayadim are bottled. You're not going to feel a difference. Every day is going to be like a Yom Tif. Every day is going to be like a Yom Tif. You're not going to feel, oh, now I'm coming to a Yom Tif. It's not going to come and say that the Mitzvah will be Mitzvah. What's the difference between Purim? Purim, we say, is going to be taka forever, even when, when Mashiach comes. 
Yimei Apurim, you and Iskarim, the third page, you and Iskarim, Benasim, Abishayim, and Atoyim. Even though the Purim is not Min HaToyra, it's from the Megillah, it will always exist, even in the times the Mashiach will come. Yiyu Yisrael Zorichim Atzar Ashigiyah Aleim Azman Azad. Since the Yizim had Tsar during the times of Purim, they suffered. That suffering they will remember. Meaning like this, when we say in the Medrash, Kol HaMoyetim Asidim Libatol, it doesn't mean literally they will no longer exist. It means compared to the great oil, the great light that will be then, compared to all the Simcha and everything, it's going to be like every day is going to be a Moyet. So we're not going to feel the differentiation between Pesach, Sokis, it's going to be like everything's a Yom Tev. But not the Chas V'Shalom and Mitzvah, the Torah, it's going to disappear, that we can't say. Purim, we will remember, because of the Tsar we had in the times of Purim, we will remember the Asalavi. Why shouldn't we say Pesach will also recall the, the slavery we had in Mitzrayim? Once we had a, a king, we had our own king, our own sovereignty, and we built the base of Mikdash, we forgot about it. We taka suffered, but once Yidin came to position that they, didn't, they felt independent, they had their own king, they had their base of Mikdash, so then, they forgot about that thing, so we're not going to remember that when the Mitzrayim comes. Aber Yimei HaPurim L'Nishtaku B'Yim B'Yishemi Shehoi Sebu'u L'Asem Shleimah The days of Purim will not be forgotten because the second Beis HaMikdash was not a full Gula. It wasn't a full Gula. Not everyone came up from Babel, Ezra, and it wasn't the same level of Kedusha. So therefore, we're going to always still... <coughs> Feel, remember that we had a time of Purim. A Pasha too. The Chaymei da Kasa Vizichim le Yasim Azarim. That's what the Pasuk said. Vizichram le Yasim Azarim. The Pasuk didn't say the Mitzvah is going to remain forever. The Pasuk said Zichram, the remembrance of Purim will stay for you forever. Because all Mitzvahs are going to stay with us forever. The point of Purim is different is that the Zichr, we will feel the memory of Purim always. You will not remember it's Yad Mitzrayim? You not remember it. You'll remember it, but it won't be like... Uh, not like Torah. We also remember Pesach, but the yeah, point I of the matter is that you don't feel how much it was important to you. Because mm -hmm. time's on by. Oba Rebbe came along Rebbe, in the middle of the, when the left column, in the middle of the Chua, the Advaz, the, the second paragraph on the page, the Tav Tav Chav Ches, and it says Tshuva, um, in the middle is a period that says Abba Rebbe. Third page. The third page in the booklet. It says on the top, Haradvaz. Shailas Hashavat Haradvaz. See Abba Rebbe? Here, Abba Rebbe. Abba Rebbe. Chuvat Haradvaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the left column in the middle. We're discussing here, there's a Maimar Chazal that's brought in many, many Sfarim. We don't have an R prince in any Gemaras or Madrashim. It's called Osid HaKadosh Bar, Osid Chazar Litar. The Chazar, the Dabar Achro, will become Tar or Mashiach will come. We want to understand what that means. We don't. We have a 20 Sfarim, early Sfarim that quote it. Ready for me, Shoyim and Gedal but we don't have it. Our Chazals, we don't have it. But it's quoted in the name of the Chazal and those Sfarim. So it means that for some reason we're missing this Medrash, we're missing this manuscript where, where it was. You have to understand that Medrash, and there was no printing press then. And uh, just, even in printing presses you can have mistakes, but especially then when things were handwritten. So you could have one person, you know, as he's writing, he skipped a line. You know, uh, they had people that copied. They were paid to be copiers. I want to copy the Medrash. You pay someone to copy your Medrash in somewhere else. So it was a whole job. The Madura we had uh, today, he would, Madura Kama. He said the whole story with the Madura Kama, the Arizal. That he, that he, they quickly wrote it down because of a Kai Vital. He, was, he thought he was going to be sick and he was going to pass away, and then he became better. Who did Rabbi Razov said? Yeah, by the speech. The speech. The Shabbos. Uh. Said that they wrote everything down quickly. They hired mm -hmm. 30 people to write everything down. Mm -hmm. The Maduri Kama. Then there's the Maduri Basu. Mm -hmm. um, so, Lamaisa, 
You know, this somehow we, we lost this Maimar Chazal, but we see it so many places being quoted. So we're going to talk a little bit what this means. What does it mean? So that we're, we're having learning a Tshuva Sarazvaz, which someone asked him. We find the Medjur says, Kol Hamayat in Betalem, all the Amtayim Rikam Batal Asalave, Chutz from Purim. So he asks, how could this be? The Torah clearly says, Le Saisa Le Sugri, and I'll add us subtract any from the Torah. How are we saying something's going to be Batal? So the Vaya says his own Pshat. The Vaya says that it doesn't mean it's going to be Batal. The, the mitzvahs will always be here. However, we won't really feel them, them as being so special. Because loss Lavi will be so special itself, every day will be special, we're not going to feel the significance of these days. Now we feel, oh, Pesach, it's Sukkis, it's very special to us. But when it comes to those days, every day is going to be a Yom Tif, we're not going to feel. Our Purim, it says, V'zichram le'yosem izaram, that's something unique about Purim, that not only, of course, the mitzvah will remain, a Purim, but the memory of Purim will remain. We'll still remember Purim because, you know, Mitzrayim is a long time ago. Since Mitzrayim, we had our own king, we had a Vesa Mikdash, so we sort of forgot in a certain way. We don't feel the suffering of the Tsar anymore. We can't really experience the Tsar of Pesach, uh, of Mitzrayim. But Shainkin Purim, we never really had a real Nechama since the days of Purim. We had a suffering in the days of Purim. And we never we never got really, uh, we never had a, a Vesa Mikdash that was in love with the first Vesa Mikdash. So we never got back to ourselves, really. So that's why the Zeicha will remain with us. Now, Bar Rebbe, we're, this is where we're holding. But Bar Rebbe, <coughs> the period, Bar Rebbe came along Rebbe. Well, he said, he added, Af yim a kippurim any bottle the oil. Even Yom Kippur won't be bottle. The Medrash adds on that Rebbe said, not only Yom Kippurim, but also Yom Kippur. Me ha 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 simcha, it's a mistake. Hasim Chama Inui. Wow, it's always safe from right here. Yeah, right, see, I'm mistaken. It's, 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 it's a Hashemit over here, it's Simcha. <laughs> How do you know it's a mistake? You figured. Yeah, you can one? see it's a mistake. Sha'ain ha Hasim Chama Vatelas Inui. Wow, wow. The Ad Rabbah. We're just talking about When you're going to have Yom Kippur and you're going to have to fast, you're going to always remember that because Yom Kippur you're going to feel, even Lasalave, the fact that you fast, you're going to feel. You're going to feel it because you feel inui. Right. So even though you're very happy and everything, but the fact that you're happy doesn't take away the fact that you feel pain, that you feel hungry. So you can always remember that you're suffering, you're walking around, we you can't wear your shoes, and you can't wash yourself. So even the Asalave, we're going to feel it. So that's what Rabbi comes and says all the bit beyond the time are going to always exist. The Chiddush of Purim and Pace, you Kippers, you're going to still feel them. You're going to remember Purim, you're going to feel the inui of your Kippers still. The other rabbi says the contrary. Call Mashiach Adam a simcha, but Tainog Margish when Yosef. The more you you have simcha, the more you feel suffering. A person who always suffers a whole year, so suffering another day is not a big deal. But someone who's more 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 someone an istinus, someone's more besimcha the whole time. For him, Yom Kippur is harder. So the loss of the other rabbi will fill Yom Kippur even more because we had so much simcha. If you're an istinus, if you're extra sensitive, yeah. Well, because because you besides for besides for not eating, you're not allowed to wash yourself. So that's the right. instant part of it. Right. Now well, let's skip it's four lines. Let's skip four lines. He, he refers now something to what this Rav wrote to him in his in his Shiloh. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what the Rav wrote to him. Four lines later, the next period it says Ukvar Nishalti. Ukvar Nishalti case. I was already asked as a Radvaz about a similar question to your question. You asked about a medrash about Moyadim. I was already asked about another Maimah Chazal. Sha'amruzal, they said, Loma Nikishmei Chazer. Why is the Chazer called the Chazer? Sha'asar, Kadesh Vachal, Vachzil Yisro. Hashem's going to bring return. Chazer is the word Chazor. Uh-huh. It's going to return back. So, lying within the name of Chazer itself is the fact that it's going to come back to us. It's going to return. It's going to come back. And so I was already asked the same question. What, is it, what, mean, what does this mean over here? How could it be? We know Chaz is strafe. How can we say it's going to be Mutter? Just like we have, you have the Kasha. You're asking me, how could the Mayadin, the Yom Toivim, be Bottle? And I told you they can't be Bottle. Same thing over here. How could the Chazar become Kasha? So therefore he says a, a different Pshat. Olofiyah Pshat, a non-literal interpretation. Olofiyah Pshat, Eshelotaret, Alderech, Kesher Kasafti. Just like, similar, in the same vein, the similar vein that I wrote regarding Mayadin, I'm going to say, you tell you a simple thing about Chazer. 
will be eating such delicacies when Mashiach comes. Or be k'ilu hotel and b'chasar chazer. Who said if we have the chazer, loy shiut alam b'sar chazer chas for shalom. Imitation chazer. So it's not a literal he's interpretation. Assuming, he's assuming that chazer is a good is a good thing to eat. Is it the case? He's assuming here that the I don't know. Is, 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 <laughs> probably, yeah. And, well, the that's pshat here is saying that the, in order to learn this pshat, you have yeah. to, you have to you yeah. have to learn that chazer is a pshat delicacy. Right. So, like, is that what it is by the Goyim or no? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. You know it depends many, where, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, how how many people in the restaurant um, there's different types the of Goyim. chazer? So you have no idea how the peak, the chazer taste. So uh-huh. there's, there's different types I, ne- of chazer. I, I never there's knew, four. I will never know. There's, there, um, I can't explain to them sliced, later on. Sliced, uh, what's the spice then looks like? I think they make fake already. Bacon? Yeah, they have a fake chazer. Bacon and imitation bacon, and imitation cheese, imitation There's another type that's thin sliced. Yeah, people, yeah, people talk about bacon in the blogs. People yeah. like imitation bacon. It's both in Bali, Crown Heights. Really? Imitation bacon. People think. In Canadian, they call Canadian bacon. It's not in soy or something. It's called, yeah, it's thinly sliced. Alderic. Bacon is talked about in the blogs. It's special. Alderic has soy. People like it. So now. So here he says it's not a literal Maimer Chazal. You can't take this literally because it's an issue. I think Bensi will be able We have an issue over here. Chazir, yeah. can eat it. Valdera Chasoy, in his, in his parentheses, he <laughs> offers a Kabbalistic interpretation. Valdera Chasoy, in, 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 in a secret vein, Yesh Lomayel Osar Echad, there is above a certain uh, minister, Vishmoy Chazerel. His name is Chazerel, like you have, uh, you know. <laughs> Like you have Michal, Gabriel, Chazrel, who kategesh Yisrael, he's always prosecuting against Kol Yisrael. But also the Kaddish Baruch Hu lachzir in the Yisrael via some Saneger, Saneger. This is Alpi Marshal. The, the, the parentheses is a mistake. The parentheses should be all the way to ending, because it continues explaining the Kabbalah after the parentheses are over. Also, the Kaddish Baruch Hu says, "Only Hashem is going to return back that minister to change him." Well, become a defender. The, there is a new print. That's you it. have to see the new print. Like I don't have it on the computer. Yeah, guys who are prosecutors, all of a sudden they go into law from and become. <laughs> I don't know what the last word is over here. The day who. The day I'm not sure what this is. So Lamaisa, we have here a pshat from the Dvaz and this Maimar Chazal. That's one pshat. So we're going to see in time a number of pshat and how we learn this Chazal. There is a Medish Talpias which brings the collection of Pirushim. Um, there is a pirush of the brings a pirush of Rabbeinu Bechaye, one of the Rishonim on the Pasik. Um, take a look at the right column. It says on uh, on of Chazir. The paragraph starts Rabbeinu Bechaye. Rabbeinu Bechaye. Here, no, no, no. Next page now. Next page. Rabbeinu Bechaye here. The right column. Yeah. Second to last paragraph mm-hmm. on the right column. Before I never. Uh, Page uh, is yeah. Major Talpias. Okay. The fourth page in our book. Yeah, it was last night. Rabbeinu Bechayizal said Vesachazir in the Pasik Vesachazir. The Medrish. There's a medrash. It says, "Osid Chazer Litar." Right after the page of the, the red vase. Is that the right after? It? Yeah, right there in the right column. Right the, the, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. the medrash says, "Osid Chazer Litar." It's going to become Chazer. It's going to become Tar. Lachzira Atar Liyoshda. It's going to come back to the way it was originally. What? How does he explain it? Kibayz Mikdashes Nivna Yidei Israel. The two Bate Mikdashes were built by Yidden. He made the sheni on the days of the bavel. The second mikdash was built through the bavel. Kurdish gave the rishos, but it was built through the bavel. Hashlishi, the third base of mikdash, Yenivna on the day Esav. Esav is going to build the third base of mikdash. The yatsir atonal yoishna, and he's going to bring back the crown to its original state. What does that mean? Esav has a koyach. Esav, being a son of Yitzchak, has an uncertain strength of Yitzchak in him, a koyach of Yitzchak. But through him building the third base of Mikdash, Esav will be machsa ataliyeshim, be putting back, giving back his koyach to, to, to Yitzchak where it comes from. 
שהכוייך שלו מצא יצחוק מאורים ומשאר כוייכס. His כוייך that he has from Yitzchok will now be together with the other Koyches, meaning with like Yaakov, with, with the Zel the Gar Sevim Keves. This is what the, the Navi says, that the wolf will lie with the lamb, means that the wolf is, is Esav and the Keves is Eklaiso. Be a Shalom. Be Shalom. Zel Atar Liyashna Kameshahayu Meshalayma. Just like in the days of Shlaima Melech when there was peace, there was Davin Melech was Muhammad. Shalom Melech was Shalom says was uh, Shalom the word like the name Shalom it was peaceful in times of Shalom Melech. So Atara Shalom Mesh Shalom Shalom. So he's also going with a sort of like uh, uh, sort of like as a not Kabbalistic but like a Madrashic interpretation. It doesn't mean literally. It means that the Ace is gonna come back and it's gonna become pure. The Umas Oilam, the Goyim are going to change and they're gonna be nice to the Eden. And he's going, they're going to actually build a third base of Mikdash. They don't say, but the Mikdash. Maybe the United States government is going to pay for the building. I don't know. They don't say, but the Mikdash. Send an architect. They don't say that the Mikdash is actually coming from Shemayim. Yeah. So this is that. This is Machloikis. Some some Chazal say it's going to come from Shemayim. Other places, this mash mat's going to be built by human beings. Mm-hmm. So yes. the qu- the Rebbe one, one, one time actually spoke that we can put, fit the two together. Different ways how to fit the two chazals together. And Pashto sim- simply it's machleikus. Different mavari chazal, what's going to be? The Rebbe said different pshat. And one time the Rebbe said that the whole base of mikdash is going to come from Shemaim, but the doors will be put on by human beings. And putting on the doors is if you built the whole house. Another time, the Rebbe said the whole base of Mikdash will be built by humans, but the base of Mikdash Shalomaylo will come down and will Sometimes come into the Gashmis to come. Yeah. So, different Pshatim, how you deal with this. The Rambam writes that Mashiach is going to build the base of Mikdash, meaning a physical person is going to build the base of Mikdash, and they're going to come in Hashemayim. So, the Rambam is Lachura from the other Shita, but it could be the Rambam would be. We don't have a Shulchan Aruch. We'll hope we'll see soon and we'll see how it happens. How we know? This part of Allah, we don't have. We don't have uh, like uh, clarity because yeah. we don't have. There's no Shulchan Aruch on this part of Allah. No. So from this person to the Pasuk of the Rambam, probably. Yeah. From this part we learn now, La Hazir Atarali Oshna, we see the Sfarim more anxious to eat the Chazir, because Shas, their logo is La Hazir Atarali Oshna. Okay, so that's the Maisa. So according to this, the Chazir is, is literally going to be. No, no. All these Pshatim are all learning. It's either metaphor. Yeah, either we're, what Vaz is saying, we're going to feel, have so much food to eat, so much delicacies, it's going to be as if the Chaz will become water. The, he said, a piece it's a minister, which is called Chazerol. We're going to take out the words Chaz and they're going to be left kill. The name of Hashem and the ending of his name, and he's going to become a defender of Kali Yisrael, not a prosecutor. According to um, the Bene Bechayi, the Pshat is going to be that Esau, Esau is the Chazer, and Esau is going to come back to build the, it can be, be turned back to be good. He's going to, ret- what's mean return? He's going to return back to his source, to, to coming from Yitzchak, and he's going to actually build back the, build the third base of Mikdash. Now, this whole discussion over here of what, what's going to happen also with the Chazer is connected to this whole discussion, what's going to be with the Yemen Toivim, like you know, the Advaz mentioned, is there similar questions? We find that all the Maidim are going to be bottled. So Advaz's explanation is not literal. Of course, the Maidim are going to always exist. There's going to be so much good and so much simcha. We're not going to feel that it's so special the Yom Tov. So we have something interesting that Rizal well, why, says. Why does something... this point have to be a point? What? Hmm? Why you is need this... you need to always the mitzvahs. The, the Torah says Lo Sigru Man. You can never subtract any mitzvahs. No, but I'm saying that why why do we even have to think about the fact that it's not going to be valid or even to think about such a thing? Well, it's not a shochanah. This is it just is a, a discussion, a shir. We, we have to be concerned, okay, Mashiach comes, then he'll tell us everything what's going on. We're not about concern. So we're not learning, we're learning a we're not We're not concerned about it. There's no halacha, in the chanami. There's no shinoi. But learning uh, something about what's going to be, Mashiach, what's pshat. 
it's you know you have to understand how does this fit Chazal this is, goes against a lot of Chazal a lot of Torah Torah is now that one lot of the Torah you now that I contradict so how do we fit this Medrash these Medrashim with Pesukim that we have in the Torah actually there is a Tanya in Perek Nun we're actually going to be learning very soon those who are learning Chitas very soon we're going to be learning Perek Nun Tanya over there talks about uh, the Koyhanim and the Levim what was the Avaidah the Koyhanim and Levim and Ruchnis the Koyim was Chesed, the Levi was Gvura. Had a discussion, what's the Avaidah Hashem, what was their different Avaidah? In the middle, the Tanya brings, the Alta Rebbe brings something from the Arizal. He brings from the Arizal on the Posik that we had in Posik in the was in this week's Haftorah. It says, Vahakoyinim Halavim. Vahakoyinim Halavim. It means the Koyinim, literally means the Koyinim who come from the tribe of Levi. The Koyinim who are Levites that come from the tribe of Levi. It's not generally how they're referred to. They're referred to as the Koyinim. But in this passage they're called the Hakoyinim Halavim. So that Rizal gave, it had a deeper interpretation of it. He said, Hakoyinim Halavim is, is a Pasik is talking about when Mashiach is going to come. The Koyinim, the Levim are going to become the Koyinim. The Hakoyinim Halavim, the Levim are going to be the Koyinim. So, we also have an issue over here with this Arizal. How could we again? The Torah clearly says that only a Koyin can serve in the base of Mikdash and do these certain avoidance. A Levi is not allowed and he's Chayev Misa B'day Shemayim if he goes into the turf of a Koyin. But this is somehow accepted. Everybody says that. Everybody says that. We always say, a lot of these, we all say all these Mamari Chazal. We need a clarification over here. We say all the Maidim and Yerbatul, Chotzi Purim. We say also Chazal Litar. We need to understand how do we deal with these Madrashim. So tonight, even though we're focusing on one, but we're gonna get to the other ones too, and we'll see over here. So when the Alter Rebbe brings it down, the there was a, a uh, the Rebbe made a note on the Tanya, made a, a note on this on this issue, and started to talk about both this concept of how the Levim are going to become Koinim, and also other shilas to be found in Torah, like how could the Chaz become Torah. How can we find that we know lost the love it said and the halach is going to be right somewhere else? The halach is going to be like Beishamai, not like Beishilal. How does this not contradict Torah? We, we pass them like Beishilal, how are we going to suddenly change? A lot of interesting shilas. We find a lot of interesting gemaras and Mamari Chazal. We have to see how we fit them together. Tishbi Taritz. From what we learned tonight, is there anyone who holds that it's literally or so far not? You're going to see now. We're going to oh. see now. That's why we're going to learning a little further. We've got to get a little deeper into the sukkah. Let's take a look on the very top of the page. Um, is, is This is a, from a Sefer Shiurim, the Sefer Tanya. He might, he might be, he might be wrong, but he's waking us all up. <laughs> no, Weinberg. Lessons in Tanya. The English lesson in Tanya is the Hebrew version. It's the Hebrew version, yeah. When you snore, it wakes everybody up. So the time it says over here, and there's a parenthesis, it says over here, parenthesis, a lot, the, the big bold letters on the top are the Alter Rebbe's words, and the lighter, smaller letters are the interpretation. We're just going to read the bold letters, and then we're going to read the note, note 14. Lo'asid, right over there on that page. Lo'asid, sha'oylam yis'ala, on the top. The parentheses, lo'asid, from the future, sha'oylam yis'ala, the world is going to, be, to, to, to become, to, uh, the world is going to become elevated. You heim ha'koyinim, they, the levim, will become koyinim. Again, we're just reading the bold letters. For, like the Arizal writes in the Pasuk, that the Koyanim the, the will be the the Koyanim will be Levim, the Levim will also love him. Now, the, the Alter Rebbe adds some words here of interpretation. The Levim of now, you are Koyanim will also the Levim, which are now Levim, will be Koyinim Lo'asid. This is something interesting. What is the, Reb, the Alter Rebbe, the Balatani, adding on to the Rizal, that the Levim of now will be Koyinim when Mashiach will come. Hmm. So note 14, the Rebbe explains that the Alter Rebbe, with these few words here, with these six words, came, no, he, he came to explain, he added the words, the main thing is he added the word Shal'achshav. 
The Alter Rebbe in the Prim could have just said, he had in two words, he could have said, Shalavim you koyanim lasit. What is he saying? The Levim shall action. The Levim are now. Maybe it's just like explaining. What is he saying? Shall now? No, it's not only not normal. It doesn't make sense. What do you mean, Levim are now? Lost the Levim, or the Levim will become kind. Says the Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe with these these two words, shall action, is coming here to explain to us how could this Pirush of Arizal not go, not going? How is it not going against clear halachas that the Torah will never change and the Torah is eternal? We know the Torah, Koyinim are Koyinim and Levim are Levim. And they don't do each other's jobs. So how could it be that the Levim are suddenly given Koyinim if you're born a Levi, you're a Levi forever? Someone one time told me that he was a... He, was a, he said he heard, he was heard a story, he was in a shul, where someone, who, someone was always called up a Koyinim. One day they said, they tried to call him a Koyinim, say, Yama, he said, no, 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 he doesn't want to leave. I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm not a Koyinim. So what do you mean, not a Koyinim? He said, when I left Russia, I made a Hachlota. That I'm going to be for 10 years a Kayin for Hashem. The 10 years are just up. <laughs> so he's no longer a Kayin. So the Maisa, Kayin is you're born Kayin, you're born a Kayin. You're a Levi, you're born a Levi. So how can, if you change that, that's changing the rules of the Torah. The Torah says, Loi Sigri Manu, Loi Loi Soi Sifal, Loi Sigri Manu. The Ramah, one of the 13 principles of faith, the Yugim Ikrim, and the Ani Mamims, the Torah will never change. So the Alter Rebbe added in the word, Shal Achshav. Look in the R14. Her is Chakal Mashlit, it's written years ago. Medaik, Moisi Pazesh, Lavim, Shal Achshav, Yu, Kayanam, Lasit. The Altareb is Medaik, and he adds in the words, Shal Achshav. The Lavim that are now Lavim will become Kayan of Lasit. Not the Lavim that will be Lasit Lavi. Meaning the Lavim that are now Lavim will be reincarnated, will Lasit Lavi will come, their Nishamis will come and be born to Koyanim fathers. Their father will be a Koyanim in the next Gilgal. But not that the actual Levim mm. themselves will suddenly one day, you'll be a Levi, Mashiach comes, all Levim suddenly, you're swapped, you're Koyanim. That can't be. So the Rebbe, that's what the Alter Rebbe added the word, Shal Achshav, not the Levim or the are going to become Koyanim. Those Levim that will be then are going to always stay Levim. The Levim that are now Levim, their Nishamis will come down again it's when Mashiach comes and we're born to Koyanim family. So, what's so, so it's a Kabbalistic different, uh, has to do with different av- Ruchnis, the Kavoidus of Koyanim and Levi, what he, what Api Kabbal. You mean the Levim for now, they're more privileged than the Levim for the Atid Lavo? That's, that's what he's saying. Okay, well, well, that's not. There's a famous story of this guy who was in a town and he wasn't getting any COVID in Elias. He decided he wanted to be a Kamakayan. So he went to a couple of towns over and he came in over there and he said, they asked him, what's your name, right? Kayan. Kayan, we don't have any Kayan. He gave him all the cover and they, everything. <laughs> Until one day, one day, somebody came from his town. So he was getting Kayan. He went up to the Gabba and he said, listen, this guy is not a Kayan. This guy is a Yisrael. Came all the time. They went to the Rav. He passed him. He has to get Malchus. So they gave him Malchus. Then was, afterward, the Rav said, give him again. So he said, what well, happened again? Call him, call him Levi. Now, I Now, he got double. It's good for me. I thought the end of the story is this. He told the Rav, do Mr. Rav, like I'm not, like I'm not, like I'm not. The Rebbe wrote this note on, 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 on the Tanya. But that with these words, Miyash of Akushi, the Alter Rebbe is answering the question, Shema Torah, Amr Allah, and Allah, and Allah, and the Torah says it for us and our children forever. Shemizah, Yedinim, from there, we know this Pasik, Shaliya Bashinai, there's not going to be any change to the Torah, this is brought in the Ram, and Hilchah said that Torah. So therefore, Mavair, the Alter Rebbe explains, the Elo Sha'ash of those that are now Levim, Belay Bismanahu, not those that will be then. Haim Levim, those will become Levim. How you kivoldu koyinim lasid? They will be born as koyinim lasid. The Rebbe pulls this out. This doesn't say clearly, but the Rebbe is learning this pshat, beautiful pshat, and the words shall achshav that the Rebbe added in. Then he asks, "Vim toimer if so, im kain the lasid yivoldu levim the av koyin that the levim are going to be born to a father as a koyin ma'ar chiddush." So what's the big chiddush? What's the big deal? That's a big feat. The enemy is going to be born to fathers like Koyinim. So what's the big deal? So, so that's not any big Chiddush. Of course it's okay. 
Bazara Pshuta, the simple explanation is Halavim. We only turn him, Hainu. We'll skip the parentheses. Hainu Pishan is Shmasa Mechins Levi. A Levi is not just his body is a Levi. A Levi means that you have the soul of a Levi. Gvura, Vukhuli, it's a certain source. You have a certain source in Kedusha. Well, there is a coin in Koinim as well. It's not just their body is a coin, then the Shama is a coin. Mishan is Shmasa Mechins is coin Ish Chesed. The neshama is a neshama of a chesed. Lo asilave, what's the chiddush? The big chiddush. The neshama shebuchin is levi. The neshama that's on the level of a levi. Tiel amaylam and neshama shemin is koyin will be higher in the level of a koyin. Melachein yivoldu b'dafke lav koyin. Therefore, they will dafke be born to a father who's a koyin. Now, that's the ending of the Rebbe's note. The Rebbe wrote this note on Perek Nun, in Tanya. However, when the this Sefer was being published, so the author of the Sefer, the, who was explaining Tanya, wrote to the Rebbe, asking the Rebbe a bunch of questions, that Lachor, we do find a lot of in Yonam and Torah that are going to change. So why is the Rebbe so, he's only concerned about Vakayin and Malavim, there's a lot of other issues, and he brings a number of issues, and each one, the Rebbe commented on his letter, as he wrote the different Shilas, the Rebbe answered up each one. Let's take a look. The next paragraph, in the beginning of the next paragraph, all the bold letters are the Rebbe's letters, and the, uh, the ones in between were the questions that the person wrote on this note of the Rebbe. The Ingen Akushin Lan of this person wrote, in, 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 regarding the question that the Rebbe is asking, that the terrorist Lan of Anenu for us and our children forever, this question is not only over here on this Arizal, this specific Arizal about Kainam al it's also about what well, we know that Rizal says that in another place that the halach is going to be like Beishamay. Mm-hmm. So right away the Rebbe interjects and answers that question. He, he wrote in on the note. Zeo kushia yisoi da toyo l'tishtana. Loya biyana. Yeah, it's a good question, but it's not, not a question on my beer and Tanya. It's a question on how do we understand the, how that's a contradiction to the possible of And that person continued writing. Shakabana bazahu shapsak l'maisi Beishamay. The reason I interpret it on Perky Yavis, it says, Kol Machloikis Shil Shem Shemayim, Soy for the Skyim is going to remain forever like Machloikis Bisham Bisul. So the Gemara says, What do you mean, Soy for the Skyim? The reason asks, Lachor is only the Halachas only like Bisul. So Bishamay's opinion is disregarded. The reason explains that the Halach will be like Bishamay. So each one has its time period. Bisul is now, Bishamay will be when Mashiach will come. There's another uh, Rebbe. The Rebbe had one time a sicha. The Rebbe said, but in the ending of the day, according the, the pshat say is still problematic because Hillel, Beis Hillel, the halacha is only now, and Bishami is not now, and Lo Asulav it's only Bishami not Beis So in the ending, both of them don't exist forever. So one or the other, each in a different period of time. So the Rebbe gave a different pshat, a very deep pshat. We're not going to go into it, but pshat that there'll be a time period later on, a second stage later on. Sheikh will come, where the halacha will be like both opinions. Wow. How we understand that is already shame. <laughs> uh, not, not, not a subject discussion for today. We have to live in that period. Anyways, no, no, there's, there's some explanation to it. It's just a deep explanation. It's not for now. So first, so the Rebbe answered this kasha zoi. Al pidin in the bold al pidin beis on agod and beis on akoyim yochel lisagacheres. There is a concept of an appeals court in halacha. The halacha is a Sanhedrin that is greater than the earlier Sanhedrin. God of men have in the more than numbers and in Chachma is wiser and larger than the previous Sanhedrin can overturn a ruling of a previous Sanhedrin. So in a Chanami Sanhedrin the Roiv was like Beis Hillel, but the Roiv Chacham and Mashiach Hukam will follow the opinion of Beis Hamay so Lacha will change. So it's not a change in Torah because the Sanhedrin itself will pass in the majority will pass in Beis Hamay. So Allah is going to be like Beis Hamay. We're going to light Hanukkah candles from eight down, right? Allah is going to change. We're going to have to have a new Shulchan Aruch. I have to give my interpretation that I gave inside to that result that my pshat was that the Levim's Neshamis are going to be reborn into 
Koinim father, to Koinim fathers. Because it doesn't do, it's not doing machloik as a bez. The bez has no power to make you a koin or not. No matter how much money you pay, the rabbi can't make you a koin. According to most rabbis. <laughs> now, Bechain, he had another question in the, the continue on. Being in Abal Chai, Sha'os is the Torah, Shai of Akshay. He didn't want to say the, the Chai. So he wrote, the Baal Chai, the animal that's going to become Torah. You could also ask this question Isn't this a contradiction to the fact that Torah is, is forever, internal? So answers the Rebbe, a pshat that we didn't bring down yet. Hachsam Soifer, Besefer, Torah is Moshe, Lashmini. Hachsam Soifer, and his Sefer on the Parsha Shmini, on, on the Chumash, and Parsha Shmini. Betar is Yasha, Ozishtana, Simon, and Yala Gera. He writes very big kids, sir. What did he say? The Gavad Kapshat. Some Soifer said, you know what's Pshat also Chaz of the Torah? The Chaz is going to, to, to start chewing its cod. It will start chewing its cod. It will become kosher. It will become and push it. So it's not against the Torah. So now we have another Pshat. We had a Pshat that Adva said, the Pshat of the Chazal was that. You're going to have so much delicacy, so much Madanin. We're going to feel as if we're able to taste the Chaz. But not literally. Yeah, he offered a pisoy, a pikabal pshat. That there's a certain sar, a minister of the Bible, called Chazrael, who was a prosecutor, a kateger against Klal Yisrael. It's, he's going to change and become a sanegra defender of Klal Yisrael. That's pshat Chazrael is going to return to become a defender. We know the pshat the Bechayi said it's referring to Esav, that the nation of Esav, the goyim, are going to become better. Lost love, and they're going to be, be Adar, they're going to build the base of Mikdash. There's another kasha this person as the Rebbe. We're going to continue, even though we discuss other chaz of the Torah, but it's interesting <coughs> to go through this whole issue of the Shailas, how we deal with the Shailas, the different Medrash. There's another Medrash. There's a Medrash which says, it's going to be, we're going to have a big Suda. It's going to be it's served the Suda fish and meat, right? Suda, the, meat, the fish is going to be the Vyasan, and the, the meat is going to become from the Sharabar. So, how is the shechita going to be done? So, they, it says in the Medrash that it's the, the Hashem is going to shecht the, the shar habar with the wing, with the fins of the Leviathan. The Leviathan is going to shecht the shar habar. Shailiz is not a kosher shechita. You look at Hilcha shechita, we don't find this heter. He's not one of the shechtim, the Leviathan. So, what's pshat over here? What happened to Mashiach? What's going to be? So the Maisa is the Medrash, and this Medrash, where Yikar Abba finishes off and says, what's the, how could this be? The Medrash says, Torah Chadash There's going to be a new Torah that's going to come out from me. Anaya Torah. From Hashem. Torah, as a Apostle. Torah Chadash It's a new Torah. Meaning, you can't ask any questions, it's going to be a new Torah. Let's see what inside. The Rebbe explains this doesn't mean literally a new Torah. The Rebbe says, you know what Pshat over here is? Pshat is that... We know a Navi is allowed to go against the Torah. He's allowed to tell us a Navi who we know has been proven to be a true Navi. A Navi MS can change. A Leon Navi can tell us temporarily. Yeah, temporarily. temporarily as a Hirash Shah can say that a certain thing you don't have to do. Like Lamash Al Yo, Navi Bahara Carmel, he built the Bama. Mm-hmm. He was not allowed to build the Bama and bring Karbanis uh, over there outside the base of Mikdash. He built it there to show the Navi that the Navi Abal were false. False prophets. So a Navi, if as long as the Navi is not telling us to do Avodah Zara, Avodah Zara, no matter what, what what he can't tell you to do, it's going mamish against Hashem himself. <coughs> but anyone who says, but a Navi we know is proven to be a Navi comes and tells us temporarily, you can do something against Hashem, against the Torah. We can listen. We should listen to. Does that happen? The same thing over here. You're asking me about a one-time event. It's not like Chaz is going to always be, we're talking something that's always going to become kosher. You're talking about a one-time thing, Hashem is going to make a special event for this Suda. Special Shechita, awesome. one-time event, good, just like the Navi could do, Hashem himself for sure could do, right? Good. So, yeah. so Kabbalah Chaimer, the Eivish himself, could say, we're going to make an exclusion because just for this one time <coughs> to do something like this. Hayrasha. But the Chaz you want, we can't offer this Shach because the Chaz is going to become tar forever. So you have to come with a sorry for pshat that it's going to change, a physical chaz is going to change. Let's take a look. We came and mesha kadosh baruch hu yatir ashchita shlo v'yosel shoych lo sharberis na pido shenem al zeh the major says toyra chadash min teisi chidush toyra kushim ekara lesser there's no question the chatchila 
This is talking about a one-time event. When it comes to one-time instruction, even a Navi can tell you to go against the Torah. Kol Shekhen HaKadosh Baruch who is the Makar of the whole Nevoah. The whole Nevoah comes from Hashem. Well, what, when a Navi says to do something, where is it coming from? Hashem. From Hashem. Well, now you're hearing it from Hashem himself. He's saying, this is a good Shekhen. Only because it's already in the Torah. Yeah, Hashem's not going against his own rules that he told us that the Torah is forever. In the Hanami. As long as we don't change something forever. The Din is not changed forever. It's changed only temporarily. Zawa Adik Chidosh Torah Valeinam Hashinui. The Rebbe said, it says Chidosh Torah. Chidosh Torah means it's a Chidosh in the Torah, not a Chidosh against the Torah. <laughs> Chidosh Torah means it's not a change. We're not going against the Torah, changing the Torah, Shini Torah. It's a Chidosh. It's a Chidosh, but it's fine. But it's a Chidosh, it's part of Torah. So all these things that Rebbe explains. Before we go to Maidav, I want to bring out that there were two times to add two other things. There was one time an unedited Maimer of the Rebbe so I'm not going to vouch for it because it was written down by, by, by Talmidim. I wrote down the Mimer, it was unedited, so it could be there was a mistake in the unedited version of the Mimer. Okay, yeah, and the Mimer, the Rebbe mentioned about this Mimer Chazal, also Chazal Torah, a different pshat than, than the Chazal Soifer. The Rebbe said the Chazal is going to stay a Chazal. It's going to stay a Chazal exactly the way it physically is. It can only have one simon. Ay, it's treif. There's going to be found a certain way, a certain me- mechanism how we're going to learn Torah that's going to show that embedded within the Torah itself, there is this heter. There's going to be some way to find a chiddush in the Torah, make a huge pimple, and somehow discover within the Torah itself there lies the heter. Not chas v'shalom against the Torah, but somehow within the Torah itself a deeper interpretation that someone will come. Just like we find Pesach halacha changes, right? If, if, if a Rav understands something deeper, a certain psak, earlier psak, he could change a psak because now we understand this is this is the there'll be a deeper pshat, a more correct interpretation. But Lamais it's an unedited version. But I'll tell you that Rebbe did say in a clear it, sicha. It, it, it could be that what the Rebbe was saying over there is not that he's going to find a pshat showing that a chazer has always been hetzik. He'll find a pshat in the tale of Shavik Saf somehow with a couple that when Mashiach comes, the chazer is not. Yeah, the whole pshat is like Rebbe Jerusalem saying. I'll tell you another word. The Rebbe spoke about this other story, this Medrash, that the Leviathan is going to Shech, the Shara Bar. How could this be? So over here the Rebbe gives an explanation because it's a one-time event. It's a one-time event. But there was another time the Rebbe said a Sicha and the Rebbe explained a different Pshat. The Rebbe said that we, we don't know how it's going to be, but we're going to have a new interpretation in Torah, a certain Pshat in Torah, I'll pee the rules of Torah, but we're going to see a new depth to it, where somehow we're going to understand Hilcha Shechit in a different way, and it's going to come out that this Shechit is good. I, we don't understand it now, we don't understand it now. There'll be such a Gile Chachma then, and the Rebbe gave an example of an inkling where the direction of that heter could be. And the Rebbe said, Hilcha Shechita, the entire Hilcha Shechita was only said to human beings. But if the Eibishter makes a shechita, who said these rules apply to him? It doesn't say anywhere in Torah <laughs> that when the Eibishter makes a shechita, this is going to be the rule. So Lamaisa, we don't know what will be. We'll see exactly what will be when Mashiach will come soon. But there's a lot of different shots that we saw tonight in, in learning of it. But the, the one thing you have to finish off the sheer clear. The Rebbe, and, and, uh, we see clearly from the Radzvaz, the way the Rebbe is learning, there's no such a thing as any Maimar Chazal any Kabbalah Sefer saying anything against Torah. It has to fit in with Torah. There's anything, if it, it doesn't fit in, it's not literal. We cannot say a pshat that goes against the Torah that everything <coughs> remains in us loving. We add the Margarita bottle, we can't learn it literal. Chaz of the Torah, we can't learn it exactly the way we, we, we think. The Leviyos Meshir Abor, Beishamei, everything has a pshat to explain how it's not against the Kloli HaTorah. That has to be approached any time we come to such a type of chazal. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is